Hi guys, welcome to another grammar lesson. Today we are going to practice possessive pronouns in dative case. If you haven't watched the previous video, click somewhere there in the corner and firstly watch that video and then come back here to practice the, the pronouns. And let's see what we have here. We have the table for dative case and the steps of the algorithm. So this is your cheat sheet. And here we have the exercise, 10 sentences. All the sentences require the dative case, so we can skip always the first step of the algorithm, okay? So let's do the first example together and the rest will be for you. We helped our grandparents in garden. We use this table because of the dative case. The second step, choose subject. Our grandparents, so we are the subject. We choose this row. Then. Choose object number. Grandparents are plural, so we choose the right part of the table. Now we can skip the last step, because in the, when the object is plural, the form of the pronoun is the same. Um, it doesn't matter which gender the object, object has, okay? So the correct answer is naszym. Pomogliśmy naszym dziadkom w ogrodzie. Now try the second example on your own. Okay? I give your child the last chance. You can translate the sentences in two ways. You can translate your as singular or as plural. So the answer the answers are daje twojemu twojemu dziecku ostatnią szansę or waszemu dziecku ostatnią szansę. Wasze mu. Ok, try the next one. Your Bartek steals my daughter's pants. Twój Bartek kradnie długopisy mojej córce. Mojej. Ok, try the next one. I think your parents deserve holidays. Here again we have two correct answers. Myślę, że waszym rodzicom należą się wakacje waszym or twoim. Twoim rodzicom należą się wakacje. Ok, try the next one. Mm -hmm. I'm telling your mother how polite you are. Mówię twojej mamie Jaki jesteś grzeczny? Here you cannot say uh, waszej because the second part of the sentence is translated as singular. Here in English you are is singular or plural depending on the context. But here jaki jesteś grzeczny is only for singular. Okay? No, so you you, you probably didn't know this, but um, uh, I will explain uh, why this is singular in other videos, okay? It's because of the verb jesteś. It's for singular. And also this adjective is for singular person, okay? So the correct answer is Mówię twojej mamie, jaki jesteś grzeczny. Try the next one. Okay. We gave the company to our son. Oddaliśmy firmę naszemu synowi. Naszemu. This one. Okay. Try the, the sentence number seven. I confess to my friend. Zwierzyłam się mojej przyjaciółce. So in English we have only friend for feminine and masculine, but in Polish we have two different words. Przyjaciel, przyjaciółka for masculine, masculine and feminine. So here we have the version of feminine friend, so we have to use moje instead of mojemu. Okay? Try the next one. We are helping their children. Uh, 
to do the homework. I forget, or maybe maybe we don't need, maybe we need, we need this word. We are helping the children to do the homework. Okay, so in Polish it will be pomagamy ich dzieciom zrobić zadanie domowe. Ich. So this example is easy, it's always ich. Try the next one. I gave my brother a word. Dałem mojemu bratu słowo. Mojemu. This one. Mojemu. And try the last example. I promised my girlfriend that we will go to the cinema. Obiecałem mojej dziewczynie, że pójdziemy do kina. Mojej. So, this one. Mojej. Okay, and that's everything for today. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like it, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to the channel for more Polish content. And if you have any question about this exercise, please ask them in the comments below. And that's it. Do zobaczenia.